right, man. Welcome to Bali, baby. Hey, man. Good to finally be here. We've been we were trying to get here for a minute now, and uh, I mean, I must say, outside the rain today, it's paradise. You yes, know what I'm saying? It's been so paradise so far, for sure. It's a beautiful island. Indeed. Uh, how was your, how was the set last night? Talk to me about that. Well, to be honest with you, man, uh, it's, it's interesting. You had to come all the way around the world to get one of the best spots that I have seen in uh, it's probably in the last 20 years or so. Uh, they built a, a, a beautiful club here, dope sound system, dope room, uh, which used to be standard back in the day. You know what I mean? Like, you know, the, like the quality, the level. But uh, it's, it's a rare find nowadays, man. And um, Bali did it right. You know, of course, with the curation of Harvey and his crew, I, I must say it's probably one of the best rooms I've played, like I said, in about the last 20 years. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, so That's beautiful, yeah. beautiful. It's a, it's a special place. Even you're, you're, in a spe you're in special grounds right here, you know, so. Yeah, Potato Head's got a lot of history from what I understand. Um, you know, yeah. it's, it's good to finally make it here and to come here and do it right. Yes. You know, uh, based upon information that you, you, you provided and a few others, you know, it used to be like the straight beach club mm -hmm. situation. But uh, they built a really beautiful club here on the grounds, you know, so uh, no complaints here. Yes, indeed. Now, let's kind of step out of the island a little bit. I wanted to talk about that walk the night. That was last year. Yeah, last year uh, during Art Basel. Yeah, did, uh, did, uh, about that. I was very intrigued about that. Yeah, I did a uh, uh, activation down in uh, for um, Miami Art Week or Art Basel. It's not actually Art Basel. They, you know, you have to kind of separate it. It says Art Week. Of course. Uh, but uh, basically what I did is a uh, photo ex uh, exhibit uh, with collection from um, Bill Bernstein, uh, Tina Paul, and uh, Robert Williams. And the focus was on uh, nightlife culture uh, as it pertains to the years from 1977 all the way up to the 90s. A collection of rare photos and things of that nature that... Uh, you know, uh, some things have been seen publicly, uh, been in some documentaries even and that kind of thing. But, uh, you know, people haven't been able to engage with this, these the photography and these artists um, up close and personal. Uh, I don't think on together as a narrative, I don't think it's, it's ever happened before. So uh, I brought together these these artists. Uh, we did a whole symposium talking about uh, uh, nightlife culture. Uh, and uh, did a thing on clip speakers, you know, which is like the, you know, the, it's become, uh, you know, really popular nowadays because a lot of the audio file rooms and sound rooms that are opening up in, around the world is clip, clip speakers, which was actually the original speaker that Dave Mancuso used to use at the loft, which actually began the culture of, of, of club culture. And so we did a, uh, a talk about that uh, with um, uh, Paul and, and Barbie uh, Raphael uh, from uh, Love and Jackson magazine. They did put together a book, uh, which is called Dope from Hope. And the Dope from Hope book is actually a combination of all these newsletters that Paul Klipsch used to send out from back in the 70s and 80s that actually informed David McCruso on a lot of the audio, um, um, audio, I guess the audio world, if you will, or like the, the speakers. The community. Yeah, well, the community and, and it's just a lot, a lot of the insights and technology and stuff like that. But Paul used to put out these newsletters, and um, this is how you know David informed himself actually. And so they were these newsletters, and and basically they compiled all the newsletters and created a book Great. out of it. It was dope. So I wanted to shine a light on that. Uh, we did a party. We did a talk also with you know a symposium of like you know knife life culture with the photographers. And then also we had a, a lineup of Lil Louis Vega, uh, Arthur Baker, and uh, Victor Rosado, who all had like different parts and sections of, of, of nightlife culture as it pertains to New York City in particular. And uh, it was moderated by myself and uh, my other business partner, Adrian Loving. Um, I had my man Tyler Gibney, you know what I'm saying, from uh, Heavyweight, was one of the curators uh, as well. Heavyweight. Yeah, and Rob McKay. Yeah, so we we also had uh, some pieces uh, from uh, Berger Abloh's one of his uh, uh, applications with that he did with Casina, you know, furniture company from Italy, uh, it was um, modular imagination, and uh, I had seen the uh, the pieces 
because I was uh, had an invitation to the um, uh, one of the casinos um, events they had the previous years, uh, previous year before, and I got a chance to see the, the actual pieces, and they reminded me of speakers, you know, and uh, you know, so I was like, wow, you know, if I can get a chance to 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 involve it on uh, one of my projects, uh, you know, I would do it, and so following year I was able to hook up with uh, um, a colleague of mine and actually get uh, some of these pieces as a part of the whole gamut of Maybe. the you know club sound what culture a circle moment though. exactly right? exactly so uh, it was a beautiful thing it was a beautiful thing we're gonna you know that we plan on taking it around we have had some interest from some uh, other galleries around the world yeah I think that was uh, you that know? was gonna be my next question yeah. like that, that's that, that feel like that has to go on the road oh yeah for sure right? for sure like, for sure especially with the you know the excitement with people wanting knowledge now you know no you know history all of that. absolutely like, timing wise absolutely should be on tour Japan yeah New York everywhere absolutely Easy. Absolutely. So we, we, we're working on that. You know, it's, uh, uh, you know, a lot of heavy lifting, obviously, you know, to get some of this stuff around, that kind of thing. You're talking about art pieces and, you know, Bill Bernstein is, a, is an accomplished photographer. So is Tina Paul, you know, so they're, you know, backed by galleries. And that kind of thing. Anyway, there's a lot of moving parts and no what we got, we're, we're, we're working on it for sure. Different iterations. Yeah. But the, the title Walk the Night, you know, I would imagine, I think I heard you say it was just kind of, I guess, bringing people, you know, to kind of, feel what it was like to walk in that era. Exactly. Such a powerful yeah. name. Exactly. Speak to what that era was like. I know you don't have enough, we don't have enough tape for that. Yes. Yeah. Just what well, that it, energy it, in Chicago, your early beginnings, talk to me about that. Well, you know, the, the thing is, is like, for instance, like last night, you know what I mean? Being in a room like that and, and that being the kind of the standard, you know, sound culture, uh, sound designers, you know what I mean? And, um, uh, that at you know coming at it from that perspective like we you know we're really going to create something that's special and a special experience and that's what it was all about is that you were coming into a world outside of the world you know what i'm saying and creating a uh being a part of a safe space if you will for you to come and express yourself get inspired uh you know how can i say let off the woes of the world you know and come into this room and and be massaged by the music kind of thing Right. And leave a different person, you know, and this is something that uh, we don't necessarily have nowadays, man. You know, people have parties. Sure. You know, but there's things that become more on the forefront, whether it be the DJ uh, wants all the adulation and the power or you have, you know, drugs that have taken over. You know what I'm saying? And people are just more into escapism. You know, there was a part of escapism that was there, too, but that was not the focus, you know. And the thing is, is that, you know, Walk Your Night, for instance, is a, is a way of actually being able to look back at, you know, the ethics and, and the ethos of, you know, what made this all work. And a younger generation now that's very interested, who's been informed by the Internet, of course, you know, did experience these things, but they're thirsty for the knowledge. You know, so I wanted to create a situation, a symposium for them to come and experience and engage with people that, you know, you know, the, the old meets the new kind of thing. I never you know, and 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 making it make making it make sense, creating that bridge. Yeah, you know, amazing. and it's so funny. Some of Virgil's playgrounds, mm -hmm. you know, the history with Africa Hi-Fi. Talk to me about that era. <laughs> it was too magical. It was like uh, it, was, it was a moment in time. Talk to yeah, me about wait, some well, of those curations. <laughs> You're known for curating spaces, experiences. That's from, right. From New York and wherever you go, I think. Yeah. You know, respect not just being a producer and dj but a curator an art you know an actual curator which is something like people really connect with ron trent yeah i mean it, it starts it starts off as a vision you know what i'm saying i mean and and then that vision you have to incorporate that vision into something that's uh how can i say uh something that could be digestible by someone who may not necessarily understand what's going on but they need it you got to bring it to the level in a sense so that you could take them to the next level you know um making it so that you know it's accessible but how can i say accessible but something that they can take home with them 
and then grow off of, right? So you create situations. Sometimes it has to be simple, right? And then from that simplicity, you create these other complexities. And simpl it, it, it's, sometimes simple means complex sometimes as well. Simple to get it meant sometimes. Yeah, you know? So whether it be that music, whether it be the space, whether it be some of the other pieces that go around that situation, um, you know, feeding the, feeding the people. You know what I mean? And art is the best way to do it. And sound is the best way to do it. You know what I'm saying? I mean, and then using those different dialects inside of those things, right, to get to the people. So uh, when Sonya and I, you know, sat down, I had just, you know, kind of moved back from New York and that kind of thing and decided to do this Afrobeat uh, event, which hadn't really gone on in Chicago. You know what I'm saying? Like that, on that level. Uh, it was like, okay, well, how do we get to these people? You know what I'm saying? And, it, and it's probably going to take some time. And of course, you know, a lot of haters. Doubt it. <laughs> a lot of haters. Why are you in there playing an African stuff? Da 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 da. You know. Bro, blah, you, know you can't stop motherfuckers from playing the shit now. But then it was like, you know, it was just really, you know, you had the haters. You had the people that was just like, eh, you know. And Chicago, is, as you already know, is very, uh, you know, they can be very slow to certain things and very critical, you know what I'm saying? But once they get into it, they're into it. And then it's like revolution, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? So, uh, they're guarded. They're guarded. Very guarded, they're you know what I'm saying? Uh, so, you know, a lot of times they don't want to try nothing new. It's a critical, uh, I don't know about that. That's too, you know. But, um, for Africa I five, man, yeah, we started off, you know, we was okay, we're gonna um, you know, base this around uh the uh the music, the aesthetics, you know, draw people in, and then once they get here and they experience what we're doing, you know, we got them. You know, and that's it's pretty much what happened, you know, and it took some time, it didn't happen overnight. You know, I, I think even Virgil came uh as an intern, probably maybe like three or four years after we had already been running. And uh, Sonya came to me and she's like, this is guy, you know, because I had been telling her we need interns, we need little people, but blah, blah, blah. it was just me and Sonya. And she's like, yeah, this is guy, he wants to, you know, he's he's an art student and he wants to come work with us. And I was like, okay, I was, what's his name? Well, his name's Virgil. And I was like, okay. So I meet Virgil, he's this quiet kid, he's tall, quiet kid, you know what I'm saying? Real kind of meek almost. You know, and, uh, you know, really, I didn't really get no vibes from him. Like, he was really kind of, just, just, just kind of like, you know. But little did I know, he was sitting back studying. You know what I'm saying? He was studying and putting it all together in his, you know. And, um, yeah, man, like, by the time, you know, uh, <laughs> we started off with 150 people. By the time uh, Africa High Five stopped, you couldn't get in the motherfucker. It was a line down the street. He was, he was there, you know? Smack right there. Yeah. A bit. Yeah, so we, we created a culture, you know what I'm saying? I mean, and and it was it was beautiful to watch it progress. But it was a lot of work, too, you know? And Virgil was a part of that ride. Yes, he sure was. You know, and it's beautiful to see how those things then inspire somebody else, and then they rise up. Their, their interpretation exactly. of what Exactly. So, you know, it's really about designing environments, designing situations for people to grow off of or to eat from or to be inspired from, you know what I mean? Experiences. Much like, you know, like what I'm talking about with the Walk Tonight thing, you know, those situations were designed to do, to have an effect on people, to for them to take something away, uh, to survive even, you know? And for me, that's the most important part of this work. When I'm DJing, when I'm creating a situation, is to create an environment where people can be inspired, take something, and then grow. And that's the ashe right there. Uh, talk to me about this 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 last project. It, just, it had such a wholesome approach. So warm, um, warm. the warm project is is uh, it's an aesthetic, if you will. It's, it's a kind of old to uh, moments and moods, architecture, uh, and you know, it's it's designed music, if you will. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of like, you know, uh, much like what I've seen here in Bali, you know what I'm saying? Or much like a moment in a beautiful room, you know, overlooking, you know, uh, the, the backdrops in the city and that kind of thing. 
music that goes along with these moments introspection and also experiential you know and um i had had it in my mind to do this type of record since the 90s believe it or not you know uh something that was experimental more new age you know jazz experimental that kind of thing and you know kraut rock yacht rock type you know and so obviously the pandemic happened I was able to put, you know, pull it off and actually, you know, pull together some, some great my other minds and artists to be, you know, collaborators or, or to feature on this album. Uh, John Luke Ponte, Asmuth, Gigi Messine, um, Karungman. Yes. You know, uh, I love that. I love that. yeah, yeah. Uh, and then, you know, I had some, some newcomers, uh, on the album as well. And, um, you know, my girl, uh, uh, Venetia um, Running Wolf, she's from uh, South Carolina, did the tune Flowers. Uh, Lars from Needs Amazing. was on the, on the album as well. And, um, you know, basically, you know, I'm working on an album too. As a matter of fact, I'm album, like 30 tracks in. Right you know, now. Yeah, right now. Hey. You know, so uh, I ended my set last night with two of the tracks that I'm oh, working beautiful. on. Beautiful. I feel like I was getting some yeah, yeah, you see. right there. <laughs> That's exactly. Yeah. That's exactly what it was. Exactly yeah. what it was. Beautiful. But uh, you know, more to come on that, and more design and music, brother. You know, coming from, um, you know, touching on all these different places that I've been and uh, experiences that I've had. It's it's like a combination of all that, all in one. Yes. You know, it's my art project. Hi, my name is Ron Trent, and I'm here in Bali, beautiful Bali, and I'm globe trotting with my man Kennedy, and this is Globe Trotter.